Hello, this is Brandon from HB Gadget Hacks. Today we're going to be routing the uh, Galaxy Nexus. This is the GSM version, but I believe this also works on the Verizon LTE version. Uh, I'm going to put links to the forum and to all the files in the description below, so just make sure you double check because I'm not 100% sure if it works with the LTE version. So don't blame me if you screw things up. <laughs> it's an expensive piece of hardware, I know. But uh, today we're going to be routing it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to transfer the correct files over and how to set everything up. And uh, I'm also going to show you what to do. So let's get into it. Uh, first, you're going to need to download some files. Uh, and uh, the link is applied below. And now I'll show you how to copy those into the correct directory. It's kind of neat because it's a. Uh, Super boot from uh, Paul O'Brien, and it's awesome because it already has all of the ADB files you need in it, so you shouldn't have to go through and install ADB and the you know developer kit and everything. So, quite simple. I already have the developer kit installed, but I'm going to do it straightforward the way it's described so that you can read through the forms and do it the exact same way uh, just to make it easier on you guys. And because I don't want to screw up my phone, <laughs> so here goes. Uh, here's how we copy the files into the proper directory. Okay, now I don't know if it's really necessary to make the root folder or if you would be okay to just copy that folder into the C drive and just do the commands that we're about to run a little differently. But just for the sake of you know being on the safe side, I'm going to do it exactly as it's described in the description. Uh, I've already powered off my device. So now we're going to connect it to USB and uh, power it up into... Uh, download mode which is new to me or excuse me bootloader mode I know this uh, should also have a download mode because it's a uh, Samsung phone mess with that a little bit with my uh, with my wife's uh, vibrant so to do this we're gonna hold the vo volume up that plus down and power all at the same time and we're in download mode so now we'll go and put in some commands Okay, and now it's going to ask if you want to unlock the bootloader. Be warned, this does void your warranty, as it says right there. And also, it will wipe all data on the phone. So anything up until this point that you have in there will be wiped out when you do this. Me, I haven't set it up because I knew this was happening. So, yes. Oh, excuse me. You have to use the key and the power button. and there we go we are unlocked and if you look it says lock state unlocked I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done a video I'm all out of camera here <laughs>
Okay, all you had to do there was go back into the folder and hit the install super boot windows. And uh, if you have extensions showing, it'll be a .bat file. If not, it'll say Windows Batch file beside it anyways. But now we are rebooting. And when we're done booting, we should have root. I will show you how to check. And it actually shows the unlocked little icon for the bootloader. Now that's neat. Never seen that. <laughs> so let's see what we get here. Okay, now that it's booted up, it is on our start screen, so I have to reset everything up. So give me a moment to do this, and then I'll show you how to check for root. Okay, it's still updating some of the apps, so it might seem a little slow. And if the reflection on the screen looks a little odd, it's because I do have an Invisi Shield on it. But uh, here's how you check to make sure you have root. First of all, you should have the super user icon, but also you should have a market or a program from the market. If you don't, you should download it called Android Terminal Emulator. And you go into that and as you can see here, it's a terminal emulator program like you would find on a Mac. So you're going to type S U and hit enter. And there you go. Allow because I always allow and there you go. You do have um, super user because for, before for some reason it restored the APK from my old phone even though I didn't have root access so just having the root app doesn't mean that you do and how you can tell you do and how well you can see it but the uh, dollar sign turns into a pound sign after you type SU so that's it your Galaxy Nexus is rooted now for most people the next step will be to install clockwork mod um, I'm not going to do that myself. I'm sure there's videos out there of it. Uh, I'm not doing it myself because, in all honesty, I'm, I still love Cyanogen on older phones, but on something like this, I'm fine with just keeping it factory. I just wanted root because I like having root access, and there are some apps that I use that I can't use without root access. So that's my reason for rooting the phone. Uh, don't really look for any custom ROM videos for this phone from me anytime soon because I mean, I'm just pretty much going to keep it but the old G2 will be uh, reviewing some new ROMs on it because a lot of people still run that phone and I still kind of miss that phone a little bit it's a really good phone I really enjoyed it but I'm going to try some ROMs that are supposedly going to speed it up quite a bit uh, but the the Nexus is my daily driver now beautiful phone beautiful screen uh, runs very well like I said, so I see no reason to to change anything. Of course, it will be tempting when Cyanogen 9 comes out, but we'll see. That's down the road. Uh, so this will probably be this and my review video will probably be my only videos on this phone for a while. But uh, stay tuned. There is more stuff coming on the G2. 